Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Gippo's a Cthulhu Adventure. So in the last episode we infiltrated into this factory in Fishmouth, and Priscilla is also here, the creepy little girl from Darkham who then moved to Fishmouth. So she is or was here as well with us, she even had a gun and everything, so she's totally not a normal girl. So... So in the last episode she was here and we found this human and octopus hybrid thingy who took his new condition surprisingly well and now uh, Priscilla uh, took him to uh, off to the post office I suppose and and she's going to send him to Ketaib's office and right now we are inside this quote unquote laboratory even though I don't see any lab equipment or anything here just uh, just pits and this big red button central device thingy and another door here So without further ado, let's continue with the rest of the game here and see what we can find from here and See what this does, but let's look around some more What can we even see down there? It's a dark deep pit, but down there. I can just make out something wrong squirming around Squirming of course it's squirming of course, it's something squirming. Hmm. Glimpses of eyes, teeth, and tentacles coming in and out of the darkness. Show us. Show it to us. I want to see. Man, am I happy for that grate. Great. Oh, yeah, this this grate. Okay. Can we use this? Yeah, I suspected as much. Yeah, that thought us nothing. No. Yeah, just no. My reaction exactly, just no. And there's just another pit. Another pit. Another unseen creature writhing at the bottom. The stuff that nightmares are made of. Hmm, yeah. Quite literally. Terrifying. Yeah. If only we could see it. Well, maybe it's a good thing that that we, as in me and you, the player and viewers, can't can't see them because otherwise we would we would go mad. Why isn't Ketaib going mad? Well, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's more of those hybrid thingies and not actual Eltric horrors. Hmm. Yeah, I thought so, but thought I would try. Okay, and this is locked. Looks like this door somehow slides into the wall. No visible handle. Hmm. Okay. Could this lead to the butchers in her sanctum? Maybe. Okay, so... Its only feature is a big red button. That we have to press. That button's begging to be pressed. Yeah, they... they every big red button begs to be pressed. I mean, that's... I mean, that's like... That's what red buttons do. They... They beg you to uh, push them or press them. Press this button, worm, and we all die. Okay, maybe I should not press the button. But it's a it's so big and well, I was about to say round, but it's not really that round. It looks like it look it looks like a square with uh, somewhat sharp edges. But still, it's so big and tempting to freaking press I I can't resist it I'm I'm ha I'm have to press it I'm I'm just have to and besides it's not like there's anything else that we can do I don't like my chances of surviving that got to think of another way Another way for what another way to push the button I don't like my chances of surviving that got to think of another way Surviving what you don't even know what would happen well then again we did use this so I guess we know from that Panel. A plain scratched metal panel of sorts. Okay, and what items do we have still? Crowbar, power tool, and liquid nitrogen spray. Okay. What was what was the last thing we wrote down here? Still not in the lab yet. Okay, so this is not the lab yet. I have convinced Priscilla to get Otis out of the factory. And ah, that was the hybrid's name, Otis. They should be safer now. 
I made my way into a vast space with pits scattered all, all over and I don't mean empty ones. Something is screeching and snarling and gnawing down there. A lot of something. Damn. Forget about guns. I'm packing liquid nitrogen now. I'm sprayable in sprayable form even. Okay. Looks stuck in place. Stuck in place, you say? It's stuck. Mm hmm Don't touch unless one escapes, worms. Mm hmm Don't touch unless one escapes, worms. Don't touch unless one escapes. Okay, yeah, let's use this. got leverage. There we go. Let's see. Can we shut these pits somehow? It seems to control some kind of security apparatus. Probably put in place in case one of those creatures escapes. Hmm. Anything new here? Don't touch unless no. one escapes, worms. Okay. Well, let's do some operation Looks like here. like a view of this room from above. Uh-huh, okay. And there's a cage hanging overhead. Cage. Okay, uh... Uh huh. I can place it on one of these things. Okay, but I'm afraid that one cage is not enough. Hmm. Maybe I'm supposed. Maybe I'm have to think about these two only because these were the ones that we could inspect, and and look down. And look look down and see what's well in in these two. Huh. So the button opens both the door, and the monsters pits. Devious. Okay. Uh, just testing. Can we now press the button, or rather, will get type press the button? I don't like my chances of surviving that. Yeah. Gotta think of another way. Okay. I didn't think so, but I thought I should try. There is a big red button in the center of the hall, but it might release whatever is in those pits. Better find out more before pressing it. Okay, a bit late to write that down. You could have wrote that earlier, but ah, eh, whatever. Okay, so uh, that's hmm. all the creeps loose. But at least I'm safe once I press this button. Ah, okay. So <sighs> I don't see a better option. Me neither, kid type. Me neither. Maybe we can actually now see the horrors. Hmm. The big red button both uh, both opens what I think is the door to the actual lab and the monster's pits. There is just one protection cage that I can move around. Better make it count. Well, we just did. I mean, where 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 else are we gonna place it? Okay, what's coming out? Oh my God! Oh Jesus! This is... Those are legit terrifying! Jesus Christ! Oh my! Jesus Christ! Okay, how, how are we going to get out of this one? My abomination. I don't know what that is, but it wants me dead. Hmm. It's horrid. You are taking this surprisingly well, not going insane or anything. No time for that. I ain't touching it. Hmm, no, I didn't think so. Okay. I mean, these are legit terrifying. I mean, oh my god. The creep... The, the scare level of this game just went off the roofs, folks. I was not expecting to actually see these things in this game. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Now what to do? Spray some nitrogen on them and freeze them? Or force them to go back down? I don't know. Like that. Yeah, they're, they are back in, they are backing off. Great. Apparently they don't like nitrogen and might be freezed. Or frozen. But the question is, oh, okay. I was about to say that. How are, how is, how is he going to leave, or how, how will he get out? But I there we go. I admit it, but I was shaken. Me too. Experiments are not scientific reality or abhorrent supernatural nightmare. 
these horrible blobs of flesh, limb, and rot existed. I could still smell their indescribable presence, even though they were all gone. God knows where. It really takes a lot to shake me, but I... I was shaken. You and me both, buddy. So they did not go back to the pits. Are, are they empty? Empty now. Okay, so they are empty, so they are loose. Oh, wonderful. Just great. We just doomed the world by releasing those horrid things. Okay, what pebbles? A bunch of pebbles. Must have fallen from the ceiling when the cage descended. Well, okay. Nice pebbles. Well, if you say so. Yeah, I might need these. Okay, we got a handful of pebbles, okay. A uh, slightly charred piece of wood. Who knows where it came from. Okay. Woody. Woody. Well, I guess this leads us to the laboratory now. Okay, this looks more like a laboratory. In, I was inside the butcher's inner sanctum and... Oh, the inner sanctum, I rather. I expected this place to be lousy with guts and gore and parts and pieces, but... But this wasn't that. This was, well, colorful. Yes, colorful it is. in a way that makes a Joe uneasy, and it set me to wondering what this guy had for triangles. So many triangles. Now that you mention it, yeah, yes, there is very... Uh, quite a few triangles here. Uh, okay. Made it into the butcher's inner sanctum. Power is out, though. Okay, so the power is out. Strains apparatus. Left embedded control panel. Desk. Papers. Instruments. What kind of instruments? It's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to say that. Say that. Say that. But they are, look very sharp and pointy. Hmm. Central painting. Strange dust mound. I've noticed these dust mounds everywhere around here. Really? I... I didn't notice. What the heck are these things? This stuff looks similar to the stuff in Flamel's place. Flamel's place? Oh, yeah. Back in Paris. Ugh, no. Who knows what this stuff actually is? Yeah, who knows? Maybe, maybe it's... Maybe... Maybe it's, I don't know, ashes of burned victims or something. Huddle! Huddle together, lovelies! Huddle? What? Yeah, my reaction too. What? Loose handle. Actually, let's not go there just yet. Same I dust. I noticed these dust mounds everywhere around here. Are you gonna repeat everything? What the heck are these things? Yeah. Might as well. This stuff looks similar to the stuff in Flamel's in place. World, hmm? <laughs> not likely, not likely. Where did that where did that come from? I did not use this. I did not use Hunter's Mark. Okay, openings. What openings? A couple of vertical openings. Something's missing here. Uh-huh. Okay. A couple of vertical op openings in the power generator make me think I need to stick a lever in there on the lookout for a two-branched object. Okay. Some kind of switch was definitely present here, but it's been broken off. Okay. Just break it off, break it little off. fly. <laughs> okay, sure. Uh, should we now go to the upper level here, or is there anything else down here? Loose handle. I mean, hey, maybe it's that. And there it was. A mm, loose okay. handle, hanging conspicuously from the door of an empty cabinet. Well, pick it up. You have been lied to, lied to. Who? We have been lied to? By whom? Okay, so maybe this handle is the one that goes there. But before we do that, let's look around some more. A strange, strange device. Seems to be out of power. Mm-hmm. Out of power. Do as father tells you, little one. Do as father tells you, little one, huh? That sounds very unpleasant. Left embedded control panel. Some kind of control panel. Looks embedded in this area of the wall, along with the shelves. I want to operate it. 
so bad. You and me both. Left. Point left. Left, point left. That might actually be important. Let's try to keep that in mind. Anything in interesting on the desk? This must be the butcher's desk. Well, duh. It's littered with discarded pages full of gibberish. Or code. Or code, you say? Worms. Worms. Flies. If that's the butcher's voice, he, he sure seems to be uh, obsessed with flies and uh, worms and stuff. What papers are these? Mm-hmm. Oh. MCHK. I'm trying to figure out that, that what this stands for. The first thing that comes to my mind is Miskatonic. Mm, well, I... I don't... Uh, I don't know. And I have no idea what, what these... What these are. Maybe these are some... Maybe I'm supposed to find a code or something from this. And these look like... I don't know. Leonardo da, Leonardo da Vinci's... Uh, papers of the flying machine that he tried to make. Okay. Uh, what did you write down? The papers strewn on the butcher's desk are in that weird gibberish, except for the letters MCHK. What gives? Yeah, I have. I don't know yet. Right embedded control panel. Some kind of control panel. Looks embedded in this area of the wall, along with the shelves. I want to operate it so bad. Right. Point right. Right, point right. Okay, maybe left, point left doesn't mean anything, uh, after all. Okay, what instruments are these? Of all the things in here, those alone seem to justify this nutter's nickname. Mm, yeah, the butcher. Yeah, now, now, it, now it all makes sense. They look pretty disturbing. And triangular, most of them. Okay, this guy sure likes a worms, flies, and triangle thingies. No apparent sign of use, but could be just clean them real well. This won't hurt a bit, little worm. Something tells me that he was lying. Okay, now let's put this... Yeah, this fits. But if this is a power generator, it might make for a shocking experience. Ah, I need to protect myself. Uh, I believe the handle is what I need to turn the power back on, but I need a shock-free handle for it. Shock-free handle, you say? Oh, I forgot to check out this painting. I stared at the Kraken head, and it seemed to stare back at me with its blood-red eyes. A little unsettling, I had to silently say to myself. Red veins ran all over the hideous head. Seeming to pulsate right under the skin, despite the fact that this was just a painting. Oh, that's... that's very... eerie. Disturbing. I don't think I'd hang this thing above my work desk, no matter the circumstances. Hmm. <laughs> I don't think anyone uh, would want this kind of thing to their office. And you shall breathe true life! Who... true life? Was it dead to begin with? Oh my god, is the butcher ac actually... Dr. Frankenstein? Mind blown. What a plot twist. Well, I guess we're about to find out in this episode, perhaps. Okay, uh... So, what can I do with this? Uh, nothing happens. Can I combine? Doesn't do nothing. Doesn't do nothing. Oh! Uh huh. I've put a nice round hole in it. Okay, now we put this through it. All right, got myself a shock-free switch. There we go. I was also thinking that maybe I should find a proper glove or something. Nice. Very nice lighting here, I must say. 
Very atmospheric. Yes! Power's back on. Yes, power's back on, baby. Ooh, uh, look at this. Right wing painting. It's a stylized painting of a human head. Stylized, you say? It's uh, pretty generic looking. I doubt it represents anyone in particular. My contribution. I don't feel good about this. Oh, now you don't feel good about this at all. Hmm. Now, can I open this? I'm not touching them. Okay, if you say so. Little puppets of flesh and mm. the, That monitor turned on. Can we take a look at it? As tempting as it is, I'll pass. Hmm, okay. Well, maybe that monitor is not important. The heck is that? That looks like a squid. Is that human human brain on this monitor here? That I don't know what that is. Kind of hard to say what that is as well. Another squid or octopus? Are those I don't know kidneys or well? Let's try this. No idea how to use this. Okay, am I supposed to find? Uh, am I supposed to fi find a manual of some uh, of uh, of some kind? Well, there's books. An assortment of books, but they're all written in what's either an alphabet unknown to me or code. Hmm. Okay. Same thing here, I suppose. An assortment of books, but mm, okay. Can't make heads or tails of these letters. Okay, so you can't read those books. Central control panel. It's definitely a control panel. Controlling what? That remains to be seen. I gotta say, I find the aesthetic pleasing. Oh yeah, I say the same thing. This is a very, uh. Pleasant looking inner sanctum and a, and a hideout. Okay, what does this do? Uh, okay, just buttons. Oh. Oh god. And it's the exact same leathers. Yeah, it, it's the exact same leather. Just wanted to check that. Okay. What did you write down? There is a control panel right above the desk. Four letter code in a strange alphabet that I suspect is the butcher's own demented creation. Okay. Let's take a look at this again. Hmm. Is there anything about these drawings? I don't think so, no. All of, all of them have this strange triangle uh, symbol on them. But that's really the only thing that they have in common. And MCHK. Maybe these are the four leathers that we need to put on the panel, but we, ha but, but we have to figure out the right uh, let. We have to f find out that what are the right uh, these strange leathers, like what's M, C, H, K, and so on and so forth. Okay, so we have to... F Is there some sort of a... Uh, I don't know, a dictionary <laughs> for this language? Can we do anything with this? Actually, yes, we can. Uh, well, I check out soon what you wrote down. Ah, more of this. Okay, there is uh, at this at this point the end here has this uh, has this has some black on it. Hmm. Uh, 
Uh, okay, I have no idea what I'm doing. But what did you write down? There are symmetric, uh, symmetrical control panels on what looks like doors to the left and right of the lab. The access codes needed seem to be a combination of direction arrows and what I think I and what I think is some strange alphabet. Okay. And the same thing here. Some kind of control panel. Yeah, yeah. Same thing here. Yeah. Hmm. Wait, what did he say? When we did this. Right. Point right. Right. Point right. So we just point right with all of them. Okay. But what? What about these leathers? The perfect triangle. Triangle. Hmm. Have I seen everything? Desk papers, books, central painting instruments. Now what's this painting? Looks like a, I don't know, wing. A painting of a wing. No, oh, I was right. Stylistically, very similar to the central piece. Hmm, maybe, maybe this is supposed to be a dragon wing? Reminded me of the ones what disappeared from underneath Vlad's castle back oh. in Transylvania. Hmm, okay. But it but it's not really helping us right now. That was everything, I take it. And he doesn't want to touch this strange dust. Ugh, no. Who knows what this stuff actually is? Hmm, okay. Nothing I stared at the Kraken head, and it seemed to stare back at me with its blood-red eyes. A little unsettling, I had to silently say to myself. Okay, nothing new, even, even with the new lighting. And you shall breathe true life! Who... True life? Was it dead to begin with? Did I... No, I didn't try this one yet here. Every single flat, what am I doing? My desire! I don't feel good about this. I stopped feeling good about this the moment we saw those Eldric Horrors. Or... Or te... Or those, uh... Or experiments. The Butcher's, uh, ex uh... Experiment results, whatever they are supposed to be. Hmm. Books, more books. I could leave. Well, let's leave real quick here. See if anything has changed. Like, is Priscilla? Priscilla? Still... We can't go... We can't go back to the factory. Hmm, okay. I was just wondering that maybe... Priscilla is what uh, would be waiting for us, but I guess not. We are on our own for now. Hmm. And here he said, "Left, point left." Left, point left. Okay. Uh, well, let's point left. I love this one. Okay, that one's pointing left, and this one is pointing right. Yeah, still. Hmm. Right. Point right! Yeah, he does say right, point right. But maybe I am still have to do the opposite here. Maybe the game is screw screwing with me like that. Doesn't hurt to try.
Nothing, okay. Let's make them point back to left and this one to right because I don't know what else to do with this for now. Hmm. And here we just got these leathers to deal with. Did I try to use the hunter's mark on this? Worms and flies! Worms and flies, okay, nothing too helpful. Worms! Worms! Flies! He really likes worms and flies. Did I try it on the papers? No. Hmm. Okay, so... M... C... H... K... There's no way I'm, su I'm supposed to just look at these papers and uh, figure, out, figure out the... answer this way, right? So we are supposed to find the... Right, uh, oh wait, there's M here. Let's see, can we find C or any other letter from anywhere? At least I can't. See? Hmm. If they, if they are here somewhere, then I'm not you seeing them right to now. To but M is here, that's something, I guess. Hmm. Maybe this uh, mark or leather here is supposed to be M, but... I highly doubt that it's that simple. Hmm. Okay. So which one am I uh, which one am I supposed to focus on first? These two or this central control panel? Triangle, triangle. Is there really no book that could help me? Can't make heads or tails of these letters. These are not for you! They're no use to me. Okay. They're no use to me. Hmm. I can't do anything, anything with these paintings either. No apparent way of directly interacting with it. No direct way, you say? No apparent way of directly interacting with it. No idea how to use this. Hmm. We have no idea how to use any of these things here. Hmm. There is no point to go back to the hall with the pits, is there? Hmm. The perfect triangle. As tempting as it is, I'll pass. Hmm. MCHK. And there's M here, but I can't see any other letters here. Can't see any other letters here. And what about... I don't see anything too eye-catching here. Or here. What did you write here again? 
there's a control panel right above the desk, four letter code in a strange alphabet that I suspect is the butcher's own demented creation. There are symmetrical control panels on what looks like doors to the left and right of the lab. The access codes needed seem to be a combination of direction arrows. The access codes need and needed seem to be a combination of direction arrows. So I don't need to worry about the uh, I don't need to worry about the alphabet letters with that. That's kind of what I'm getting at. And what I think is some strange... Ah, okay, never mind. And what I think is some strange alphabet. Okay, so I'm have to... I'm have to mess around with the arrows and with the alphabet. That's just great. The papers strewn on the butcher's desk are in that weird gibberish, except for the letters M -A M C H K. M C H K. What gives? Let's look at these alphabets again. Just making sure that they are, they actually are all strange alphabets and no M's or C's or H or K's or anything. It certainly looks like that they are not there. Just these strange letters. Hmm. I assume that the I assume that these arrows are pointed to the right direction, right point uh, point right and left point left. That's what he said when we used the hunter's mark. So I assume that I assume that those are those are correct, but they could be wrong too. That's always possible. But hmm. there is no more papers or anything else lying around here, is there? No, just here. Hmm. Anything about these pebbles? Got myself a pocket full of pebbles. They're fun to throw around. Fun to throw around. <laughs> okay. I don't think that they can help us here right now, though. MCHK. Hmm. And there is an M here. The perfect pair of wings. And I just can't see the other the other letters anywhere else. I can't move the papers around or anything like that either. Hmm. I just have no idea, folks. This one seems uh, seems tough. Let's go back to the pit hall here for, for a quick quick moment, just to see if there is anything I have missed. No, just just the pits here. I can't even interact with this panel here, or the big red button, and I can't leave. Can't leave this place. So everything that I need is in the inner sanctum here. Hmm. But did I try the hunter's mark on this painting here? My contribution. Yeah, my did. I don't feel good about this. Hmm. And he won't take these instruments. I'm not touching them. This won't hurt a bit. It's a little worm. Hmm. Still got a crowbar and pebbles. No need. Okay. And I can't force these doors open or anything. No use. Absurd. Well, I mean, I don't know. Maybe there's some, uh, maybe there is something hidden in these mounts. Absurd. Okay. Hmm. Strange apparatus, and it it shows stuff like human brains there, and I don't know. Maybe that's another uh, squid or something. 
I have no idea what that is. Another squid. I was just thinking that maybe these are maybe these are important somehow, but I guess not. Hmm. It's definitely a control panel. Yeah, indeed it is. Indeed it is. Hmm. And I don't see anything too interesting about these either. They all just look equally uh, weird. Hmm. I believe that the MCH. Uh, what were the letters? Well, anyway, I believe that those four letters need to be typed here, but in but using these, of course. We just need to figure out what the... We just need to... MCHK. So we just need to figure out the right... The alphabet letters for this. I mean, M is there, so maybe the mark right next to it is the... Is supposed to be M here. But... That may not be the case either. That may not be the case. Hmm. Maybe there's a certain pattern in these letters. It doesn't look like it. Okay, this one is a tough one. And Ketaip didn't really write down anything too helpful here. Oh yeah, where did that handle go? Ah, whatever. Doesn't matter. They are always watching. Always watching. Always watching. Indeed they are. These are not for you! These are not for you! Hmm. Left. Point left. Well, they are pointing left. Now, did we use this one here? Do as father tells you, little one. Okay. Have we used hunter's mark on everything? I believe that we use it on this. Every single flap. What yeah. am I doing? My desire. I don't feel good about this. Did I try this on the mounts? Huddle! Huddle to Yeah. What? Same here. Huddle! Yeah. What? Same thing. And you shall breathe true life. According to Who? True. Let's have a look at this paintings and stuff closer. I haven't been zooming like this for a long time. I kind of forgot that I've, I I kind of forgot that the game had this little feature. Just wondering if there is anything in these paintings that could help us. Hmm. Don't see any I don't see anything too interesting. Neither on that. Or in this wing. To the plane. Hmm. Okay. It it can it can be it can't be something too complicated. I must be missing something. Maybe even something obvious. What am I missing here? I mean, I have used ha Haunter's Mark on everything, I think, I'm pretty sure, anyway, so it can't be that. I did try this on... I did, I did try this on the control panel, right? Worms and flies! Yeah, okay. And then on the desk, he, uh, he says the same thing. Worms! Worms! Flies! 
just more slowly and with some repetition. No matter how hard I look at these papers here and the leathers, I just can't find any of these other leathers. I don't think I'm supposed to use pebbles on anything. Actually, hmm, just wondering. What if I drop some pebbles down to the pits, even though they are supposed to be empty? Like, I don't know, maybe if I drop some pebbles down, then something terrible happens. I don't want to throw them in there. I don't want to throw them in there. Okay, I didn't think so. Didn't think so. And the crowbar is not helping us here either. We need to use our brains here and not brute force. Some kind of control. Ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but let's make sure of one thing. Just wondering if these letters are the exact same here. Ex exact same here as they are here. Yeah, they are the exact same, and in, the, and in the exact same order. I wanted to check if, for example, this and this, this letter here are the exact same. Okay. Every little bit of knowledge helps. And the arrows are pointed in the right directions, I assume so anyway. I mean, he literally did say, right, point, right. And it is now pointing right, and this one is pointing left. I even tried the opposite way. But nothing happened. I have to put in the right alphabet letters here as well. But there's not but there's only three of these. And not four, so it can't be the MCHK. Yeah, let's see. Let's just try something randomly and see if anything happens. No, no comments, no nothing. Hmm. Only I control the passage of the hmm, Right. Point right. Maybe these letters are supposed to point towards right as well. But that can't be it, right? Like, I don't know, this. Ah, uh, this, I don't know. No, it can't be that. Ah, uh, that's too dumb. Let me check the time here real quick. Hmm. Okay, okay. I think I'm gonna end this episode here. I just have no idea what to do right now. So maybe, so maybe we can figure out something and next time with a clearer mind and everything. And as always, folks, if you have any ideas or suggestions that that what what we're supposed to do here, then do let me know in the comments. And if you have happened to play this game uh, before yourself and you know what to do, you are welcome to provide some hints, but try to be somewhat subtle, okay? Okay. So, until next time. Thank you for watching once again, and see you next time for more Gippos, a Cthulhu adventure.